Hey, how are you feeling? I'm up here. We got John Riggs here and this here, this giant box. Let me change positions here. Ugh, this giant box is about 50 NES games with boxes, most of them with manuals. It seems like a human, it seems like, <clears throat> it seems like I'm a huge hypocrite because I keep saying I'm not a collector, but I have a collection. Yet, here I am spending $1,500 buying about 50 Nintendo games. Why would I do that? Well, so my buddy Steve hit me up and said, hey, you know, I got, I found, you know, about 50 box games and, you know, a value of about this much, you know, I'm, I'd let it go for this much or if you want to see a list. And I was like, you know what? Don't even tell me what the games are. I'll take all of them all at once. And I'll turn it into a Bill unboxing video. I'm doing him a favor because I'm just helping him get rid of his collection. And then I'm just going to put them on Whatnot anyway. So if you're not on the Whatnot app, it's an online auction app. I love it. If you use my link to sign up for the first time, uh, you'll get $15 off anything you see in this video. And I'll do a uh, Whatnot auction stream as of this video, probably sometime next week. I have SoCal Gaming Expo this week. And then so sometimes next week, you'll probably see these games um, on that. And that'll be a fun auction. So look out for those CIB games. So in this video, going through, oh man, hopefully there's some good games in here. <laughs> we'll see. I'm sure there's some great ones. And the box is this big. If you're like, that's not 50 games. Um, it, there's also like packing and, you know, shipping stuff like that too. Make sure they got here safe. So I appreciate that. And it'll be fun for me too, because he said, um, hold on, let me actually just read the message. 47 games, one boxed NES cleaning kit. So look out for that. Uh, a few have missing tabs. One has a missing top. The one, the one with the missing top, he'll just throw in for free. Eight of the 47 games do not have manuals. So 39 games CIB, eight games without manuals, but the good news is I actually have a small set of manuals that I just had for whatever reason, you know, so maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through and if any of the games don't have manuals, wouldn't it be convenient if I had the manual for those games, complete the set. I'm opening the box for the first time. All right, I love bubble wrap. I reuse bubble wrap for my own stuff because I mean, I sell my own games, my air fresheners, cereal book and all that on my online store. Of course, you can always support by clicking the link below. There it is. Expertly wrapped. You put it in a box, around bubble wrap, around paper and stuff, in another box. I think the funniest time I ever got anything was, and unfortunately there was no cart condition, uh, you know, nothing was wrong with it. Um, but this was, good lord, this is how long ago. It was from that website, 99Gamers. Did you, did you ever use that site, 99Gamers? I grabbed a game from someone, it was a cheap game, didn't really matter. And he sent it around bubble wrap, and then the shipping box was a Pop-Tart box. I was like, eh, you know. Forty-seven box games, most of them have manuals. And value-wise, yeah, I got a better deal than what everything was added up. And I, I trust I trust his calculations on what the prices were. So I was like, yeah, that's good enough for me. And like I said, I'm just going to put it up on Whatnot anyway. Whatever it sells for, that's what it sells for. But hopefully it was worth it for all. And I guess we're going to find out now as we open this box. Again, I don't even know what games are in here. I don't even have a clue what games are in here. Except for Dragon Warrior. Because he mentioned Dragon Warrior did have the manual. It just didn't have maps and stuff. That's the wrong side. Here, let me look on this side. 47 sports games. Here we go. I see a few things right on top, including a bunch of sports games. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see what else is in this box. Here we go. Blades of Steel. Kicking off with Blades of Steel. Great one, though. Oh, I love that there's a sticker on the top, too. Yeah, that one time sold for, like, $14.95. Is that what that says? This is one of the ones without a manual. Do I have a Blades of Steel manual? I don't think so. Double Dragon, Spy Hunter, Casino Kid, California Games, uh, Disney's Adventures in the Magical Kingdom, POW, Bayou Billy, Kung Fu, and Bandai Golf. Not happening. Okay, no problem. That's the thing, too, is like, I'm not even a box collector. And I told him that up front. I was like, I don't care about the boxes. I just want the games to play. But there are some people who love the boxes and the manuals and all that. I like reading the manuals, but I'm not really collecting them, you know? I have a feeling the ones on top are the ones that don't have manuals. So that's good. And I appreciate the fact that he did that. Baseball Stars, one of the uh, greatest baseball games on the NES. Happy to have this. I just said I was happy to have it. I just mentioned I was going to do a whatnot stream, right? <laughs> Pretty decent condition. NES play action football. Again, no manual, no problem. It was funny, I was just at a convention, uh, Renton City Retro. There was a booth there selling manuals for, for pretty cheap. And I bet they would have had those manuals for cheap just to complete the collection. I didn't know. I didn't know. So, But you can find manuals at conventions. Not, not too bad. Bases loaded two, second season. 
Another copy of Bases Loaded 2 Second Season. Both of these without manuals. There's no manual, how do you know how to play? Karate Champ. I actually like this game. Oh, do I have the manual for Karate Champ? Was that one of the ones I had? It kind of sounded familiar, but maybe I'm thinking... Oh, I'm thinking Kung Fu. Got excited for a second. Dragon Power without the manual. If you're unfamiliar, Dragon Power is Dragon Ball. It was Dragon Ball for the Famicom, and then they changed some of the graphics and brought it out as Dragon Power here in the U.S. That way, because you know nobody knows, nobody knew what Dragon Ball was here in the U.S. back then, so just call it Dragon Power. But if you look at the uh, graphics, if you look at like the cutscenes especially, you're like, yeah, that's that's definitely Dragon Ball. I mean, even look at the back of the box here. The adventure begins. The quest for the Dragon's Seven Crystal Balls. The prize, your greatest wish, together with Goku and Nora, you must face the obstacles that lead to each of the balls. But with your skills and the help of your swift cloud and magic pole, anything is possible. <laughs> Magic pole, huh? No manual, but this one's pretty cool. This is the red label variant of Blades of Steel, part of the Konami Classic series. I wonder if they're slated to come out with more. I think this is the only one I know of that they did like the red label ones, like the like like you know, it's the greatest hits, the reissue. When they did those, was it around the same time as the top loader? Like Super Nintendo came out, and then they kind of came out with the top loader NES, where it's like, hey, and we're still doing Nintendo games. And then they, that's when they have like the yellow label Metroid, the gray cart Zelda. I don't know. Unfortunately, no label, but Lethal Weapon. Starring Riggs right there. Martin Riggs. That's right. Kind of too bad there's no manual on this one, but that's fine. I mean, not that the game's like super great anyway. It's from Ocean, but still, it's Lethal Weapon. And it has a dude with my last name. And with that, those are all the games that don't have manuals. So all the rest of the game, well, with the exception of, hold on, let's grab this one because I see it right on top here. The NES cleaning kit. That was just kind of thrown in there. Um, all the rest of the games here have manuals. So now all these games are going to be CIB. And I already see the game that's missing a top. I'm curious to know what it is. We'll look at that one first. And he said, well, you know what? Price-wise aside, I'll just throw this in for free. Yeah, no top. <laughs> but it is Tubin. Fun in the arcade. I like this one. All right, no rhyme or reason. See if we can get our money back on this thing. They have, oh, hey, not bad. Commando. I do love me some Commando. There's a sticker on the front there that probably tells you how much it went for once. Okay. Oh, Jeopardy. I still play this. You know, the, the game show games on the NES, I still play them every once in a while. But you have to remember that the answers are based in the 80s, like late 80s, early, like, so that era. So, like, a lot of questions that, from the trivia of, like, the 70s. Kind of weird. Oh, Double Dribble. Here's another one. Can never go wrong with Double Dribble. Come on, something decent. Oh, Dance Aerobics. <laughs> well, we have Dance Aerobics for you, okay. There's something like, you know, 678 licensed NES games. Some people might say 677 or 676, whatever. Um, out of every NES game, this is the only one I've never really played. I played all the other Power Pad games, and I could play this through an emulator or whatever, and I have a Power Pad somewhere, but maybe someday I'll check it out and just say, say I did. We have Super Team Games, not bad. Another power pad game here, kind of two-player obstacle course style game. Ah, Paperboy. Can never go wrong with Paperboy. I like it okay. I'm more likely it in the arcade because you get the um, the, the handlebar controller. Oh, Sky Kid. Early Sunsoft, they were making games, like ports of games. And that's where this came about, Sky Kid. Yeah, so, you know, it's a Namco. Wait, is it Namco? It's Namco, right? Namco, yeah. So it's, I mean, it's a, it's a Namco-made game, but then, um, but then uh, Sunsoft did the NES port. Got hooked on something there. Dragon Warrior. Okay, so we have Dragon Warrior. As you mentioned before, no maps, but it does have a manual, so not bad. Oh, neat. Airwolf. This one still has a little plastic around it. Some people did that, and I wish more people did. I, I didn't even think about it at the time, but they just, they cut the plastic on there and just open up the top. Why would you, why would you have to remove all the plastic? Based on the TV show... And if you ever play Airwolf for the Famicom, it's a completely different game. But this is the one that we got here in the U.S. Oh, neat. WrestleMania Challenge. Out of all the WWF games on the NES, this one may be the best. Uh, art by um, art by Kevin Bayless, who did the art for games like Battletoads and stuff like that. Can you survive the Atomic Drop, Warrior Wallop, and a Hulkster Splash? What? <laughs> Warrior Wallop? What? Okay. Oh, Dr. Mario. I do like me some Dr. Mario. Happy to see this. Always happy to see this one. My quick Dr. Mario story is when the game came out, I played it in the arcade. We had an arcade, and then almost immediately it came out for the NES. I was like, I hadn't even heard of this game. And I just saw it in the arcade for the first time, 
That's the first time I've ever even seen it, heard of it, anything in the arcade. And then, um, and then they advertise it in uh, Nintendo Power or whatever. And my dad, every once in a blue moon, if it wasn't my birthday or wasn't Christmas, he might go and buy the game and then surprise me with it, but he would never tell me where it was or what he did or say, hey, might want to check your room, or check your drawers, no, nothing like that. He would just buy it and hide it and I might find it a week later, you know, something like that. And when this game came out, um, I was going to bed, I lifted out my blankets, and then sure enough, right there, uh, underneath my blankets was this game. And then I ended up not going to bed, basically. <laughs> it was even like a school night or something, but well, whatever. We have Mickey Mouse Capade, probably what kicked off the Disney Capcom collaborations. Um, you know, it's fun. I like it. Still going through the box here. Videomation. Oh my goodness. This was one I was very curious to play, because when I saw the photos of like, oh, you can make this? It's like, no, you cannot. Like, I don't know how well this is going to show up on the video, but it's like, hey, you can, you can, you can do art like this. It's like, on an NES pad? No, you can't. <laughs> uh, like, I can't even do anything like that, not even on Mario Paint or something. Oh, Track and Field 2. I do like me some Track and Field 2. You know, it's just the, the Olympics of the times. I like this one quite a bit. I played, played it a bunch. Ooh, Wampum. This game's fantastic. One of the best platformers, and uh, such a great game, too. Unknown peril lurks behind every corner. And it's the play on words. It's wampum. And you, you wampum. Uh, I don't know. Could they get away with this today? I'm not sure. But it was a super, super fun game. Um, this is awesome. This, this is, this is, this, this so far is the highlight. Championship bowling. How dare you? No, it's all right. No, it's fine. Hey, the adventures of Bayou Billy. Super difficult game because when you punch the enemies, they still flash like you can't hit them again but they can hit you. So it's like, oh, so you have to just punch and move, punch and move. Um, like the different gameplay styles, because it also has the, uh, the side-scrolling beat-em-up. It has the kind of Operation Wolf style shooting around. Uh, there's the driving part. And I have the manual for it, but this one is CIB, so I don't even need to use my manual. We have Jack Nicholas Golf. I don't know who this is, but I know who Jack Nicholas is, thanks to this game. And it's not Jack Nicholson. That'd be funnier. City Connection. Another personal favorite of mine. I played a lot of City Connection. And you know, it's like, you know, the, uh, the the scrolling's a little choppy. It's kind of dated, but man, it's a super fun game. And I never knew it was an arcade game until much later in life. It, 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 there's an arcade game of this, but I only do the NES version. Oh, fun. POW. Another one I have the manual for. Uh, fun game. Interesting that it's only a one player. Arcade is two player. NES, one player. There is a hack of the NES version that makes it two player, but... Standard default, one player. Still a fun game, though. We have Top Gun, the second mission. Top Gun, the second mission. It's cool because this one has two-player dogfighting. And you can do total 360... I don't, know if that's, I don't think it's technically called a barrel roll, but um, you can do the thing like where you can spin, or like spin upside down or like go straight up or go straight down. You couldn't do that in the first one. You can do it in this one. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Of all the games that have CIB, why not? I wonder what this guy's doing now. This one looks a little... We have Thundercade. It's all right. Oh, Mario 2. Classic. Uh, nostalgically, I like Mario 2 more than Mario 3. But, I mean, of course, they're great games. And uh, But Mario 2, man, it was just... Blew my mind when I first... It was like, it's like I'm playing a cartoon, especially the ending. Oh, come on now. Battletoads. CIB. Excellent condition on this one, too. One of the all-time greats. One of the um, difficult game, comic book style. Okay, toadies, let's get even. That's what it says on the back there. Great, great to have. Oh, come on now. Shadowgate CIB? I might keep this one. Maybe. I love me some Shadowgate. And the fact that it's CIB and in such great condition. This one, I, I know I mentioned I was going to put these up on a whatnot auction, like all of them. I was not expecting to find... I, I didn't know what I was expecting to find, honestly. Because I was like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever, you know. I already have, I already, I only have a couple of CIB games for my, per like, when I say a collection. You know, Princess Tomato and the Child Kingdom, and then the Tengen Tetris, and Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. And I was just like, I don't, you know, I don't really need the other CIB games. I'm keeping those, but Shadowgate, I might just have to, yeah. Oh, I have a Star Tropics as well, sorry. Well, I'll at least put it over there for now. We have Short Order Explode. Two games in one. It says Short Order Explode, but when you look at the top of the label, it says 
explode short order just because how the how the things are set up here so uh two games and one for the power pad i remember having fun with the short order part of it explode i don't really mem remember as much but i played this for the short order part pretty regularly because you have to like jump on the little things to make a cheeseburger we have heavy shredden in the bright pink box some uh, snowboarding action for your nes game and box used to sell for ten dollars oh my goodness the mutant virus this is a late release NES game. It was a game I didn't play or have or anything until later in life. Um, this is one I just never got around to playing, but have, great to have this. Yeah, the mutant virus. Crisis in a computer world. <laughs> Getting down to the last few here. RBI baseball. Nice. Yeah, again, there's, you know, it wasn't like like lowest to highest or anything like that. They're just kind of all in the same box. So we have Amagon here, another, uh, another interesting uh, kind of platformer here. I come back to it sometimes just for fun. I just think it's kind of weird that you're like this little kind of hapless guy shooting bullets or whatever, and then you can turn into the Amagon or something and uh, just give everyone these uppercuts. Oh, here's another great one too. I do love me some, uh, I do love me some Star Tropics, and this one is Star Tropics 2: Zoda's Revenge, which used to sell for $39.99 and even has the refund policy. Uh, my Myers Majors? What's that store? I've I've heard of this store. Is it like in the Midwest or something like that? We don't we don't have them here in the Northwest. Is it is it pronounced Myers? Is the J silent? I'm not sure. Let me know. Almost worth it just for that sticker. I'll leave that on there. We have Caesar's Palace. Here's Caesar's Palace. I got nothing to say about Caesar's Palace. Oh come on now, Crystallis. Ah, yeah, this one I mentioned in a video recently where better than Zelda. Now I like Zelda. I like you know Legend of Zelda more than this game. But this game is an overall better game than Legend of Zelda at its own game. The music, the graphics, the story, the everything. So good. So awesome. And so CIB. Oh, come on, Eight Eyes. I do love me some Eight Eyes. It's like a Castlevania game. Um, but it's also two players simultaneous where one player can play as the bird to fly around and attack enemies and hit, um, hit the blocks. that um, Like the hidden switches and stuff like that too. You know, you can play this as a one player. What I didn't realize when I played Eight Eyes, um, it's called Eight Eyes because there's eight gems. And in every stage, there's a, you know, like the red gem is next to the black gem or whatever it says. It's like, okay, well, why do I care? <laughs> you know, good for you. And then at the end of the game, you have to place the gems in order to get the full ending. And uh, I was like, man, I should have taken note on <laughs> where all the gems were. So I had to play through it again. And then when I beat it the second time, then I was able to say, okay, well, if this one's over here, then it's like, you know, like the white gem is two away from the blue gem, whatever it is, you know, so. But I do like this game quite a bit. What do you think? Was it a deal? I got all those games for $1,500 plus an extra hundred for shipping. Now I'm doing my friend a favor because he's trying to get rid of some of his games. And again, I'm just going to put these up on whatnot anyway. So it's just, you know, money comes in, money comes out. Hopefully I can make my money back. And I can't do these a lot because I don't just be having that much money laying around. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he did reach out to me saying that he has some more games that he might want to do another box with. So it's like, ah, you know, it's, it's fun for me. And it's a great way for me to just, you know, I'll give you the money up front and then I'll just put it up on whatnot. Because with the whatnot streams, I could add my own stuff on there too. Use my WhatNot link, $15 off anything you just saw in today's auction. In fact, if the game goes for 15 bucks, hey, you just got it for free.